starting to believe I can trust you again. Thank God. It's a little scary, though. I promised myself I wouldn't. I know, I know, but look, it won't be scary for long. I don't know about Dominic. He's such a strange man. Yeah, he sure is. I don't know why, but my instincts tell me to trust him. I don't trust him completely. He could still double-cross us. Look, he hasn't come forward publicly to help me. God, he must be guilty of some horrible crime. Hiding out like that for so long. I don't know. All I know is, Kelly, is that you've made me very happy today. Have I? Yes. You're beginning to trust me now, to believe in me. And I've wanted that for so long, Kelly. I'm sorry it took so long. Kelly, I've wanted this for the last five years. And here I am with no proof, with a man who supports my story, whom you don't even know, and yet you still believe me. You're beginning to have faith in me again, Kelly. I'm not sure what I think yet. That's okay. It's okay. It'll take some time. But I've always known that we'd end up together, Kelly. I'm not sure what I want, but I know I want the truth. Kelly, our love is inevitable. I know we can make it. No, Joe. I know I'm starting to see things differently, and I know I'm starting to trust you. But I'm just not ready for... I've got to go see Peter and tell him all about this. Peter? Why? I've got to tell him about this. I just don't get it. He's my fiancé, Joe. That hasn't changed. He's going to try to turn you against me. No one can turn me against you if I know you're telling me the truth. Not even Peter. Peter.